All right, so this time we're going to look at, in particular, the part studio within uh, an Onshape document. So I'm going to go into this tutorial doc one that I created before. You can easily create a new one if you want to create, create and then document. I'll just use one that I've created because it's blank anyway. All right, now here is the initial, it gives you one part studio, one assembly by default, but we're just going to focus on the part studio today. Um, so this is what it's named and you can rename it if you want to. Um, I'll just leave it as uh, part studio one. Now part studios are kind of the nuts and bolts of the geometry. So if you're coming from SolidWorks or uh, another piece of software like that, think of it like a part, a multi-body part. Um, but maybe a little more flexible than that. So you start with some basic geometry um, reference points, right? You have an origin, top, front, and right planes. You can make them visible or turn them off if you'd like to by clicking on this little eye. See how the eye goes with a cross through it? And that has it on. That, that one has the eye without the cross. Um, <clears throat> there's undo and redo if you need to uh, go back and forth we'll talk about that more a little bit later these are features like extrude revolve uh, sweep loft and so on um, those are kind of using sketch type of features then there's geometry operating things like filleting geometry that's already there chamfering geometry that's already there, drafting, um, ribs, shelling, all that sort of thing. Uh, so then there's uh, there's a lot of different you know s splitting and boolean operations. And then uh, there's this little icon here which is kind of a complex triad. Um, so let's let's talk about how you can navigate. You, left click and drag you can select an inclusive box or you can left click and drag this way for an interference type of box um, we'll, we'll see more about that in, in a later one a middle click and drag lets us pan and a right click and drag lets us rotate so you can see the triad is moving with the model and if you want to go to like a named view or a particular view you like, like Dimetric, it does that. Uh, you just click on there. If you want to go to the front view and you can see it here, you can just click directly on it. It will take you there. So, and if, if in case you need to uh, rotate the view, that's easy enough to do here. This gives you 45 increment rotates. If you click back on front, it'll put you right side up. Uh, yeah, so on the left, like I said, um, there's this default geometry, but this is where you're going to build the geometry and the sketches and everything else uh, that is going to define your part. Um, and the next time.